I was once pregnant for David and he told me to remove it. Did you see the Nigerian lady that was confessing to murder in the name of getting back at Davido, the Nigerian musician? <laughs> Watch this first. I've never seen somebody so dumb in my life. This is the worst, the most funniest thing I've ever seen on the internet. Somebody committed a crime with 14 years imprisonment in Nigeria. Abortion is illegal in Nigeria. This lady committed this crime. And just because the video's other girlfriends are calling him out, she decided to come and expose her crime. If this video gets to police, do you know, do you know she's, she's not coming out again till 14 years from plus 2023. We're talking about 2037. <laughs> common sense is not common. Others are confessing that they have a baby for the video. She came out to confess to a full-blown crime. For what? For what? So the video, the video has gotten this number of ladies pregnant and they wouldn't even wait for the pregnancy to come to term. They just go to the internet and people with one, one IQ, <laughs> one IQ point. Give birth to your baby now. Did the guy say he's not going to take care of the baby? Nope. You understand? What of DNA tests that will prove conclusively that it's him? Yeah, you can do that. Sue him to court, get DNA, and then confirm, get your child support. Why are you online calling him out? I don't even understand. The Anita lady of uh, whatever country she's in, she has been calling the video out. How can you be one month pregnant for a man? And what the only thing that came to your mind is to shame him. You try to pull him down. Maybe you calling him out to bring down his career. If, if his career comes down, how are you going to get the child support you are threatening to sue him for? By the time she's giving birth in nine months, where is the video going to get the money to give her that child support? She just beat her online, calling out the video. Do, 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 do. She has done all the research. She knows all his girlfriends, all his this, all his that, all his that. And she's so happy. She says she's not removing the child, blah, blah, blah. Another one from France came out. She's still pregnant though. She has, never give, she has not given birth. She's now calling out the video. Why are you calling him out? Is it by force? It's not by force. When you guys were meeting, you guys did not tell us. It's not by force. So now you are pregnant for him. You are going to the media to come and disturb our peace. Why? What are we going to benefit? What is your objective? The other one from is it Kenya or Uganda came with the video's boxers. This is the evidence that he slept with. Who cares? Well, I don't give, I don't give a, a damn if the video slept with you or not. Or even if you are pregnant. Just giving us free drama on the internet. If I'm bored, I'll go and read. People with 1-1 one, one IQ. Stupid. The other part, part of them all is the lady that now came out and said, I committed a, a crime. I did abortion for the video. He promised to give me 10 million. Mm -hmm. hey, Jesus Christ. If to say police they're serious in this country in terms of being on social media well, they will pick this lady 14 years imprisonment. You know, come out. How can you be on social media and come, come? What happened to your education? What happened to your education? How can you study nursery school, primary school, secondary school, university, graduate, and you can't even think of consequences? It's like there's a part of the brain that is missing that doesn't estimate consequences. I don't know, I see this a lot actually. It's not just this lady, I see a lot of people. They will go to, the, who are those ones? You know, um, people that kill pop smoke, people that killed um, XSS Tentacion. Do you know how those people were caught? They went to social media to brag about it. Some people the other day uh, uh, snatched Ice Spice chain. That's robbery. The same night, they went to Instagram to post that they snatched it. It's like they can't estimate consequences of actions. Police will just come and pick you. You have done. You have made the investigation easy for them. They just come and pick you up. So this lady now to to uh, to get at the video, and this was years ago. It's not like it's needed now. We don't need the information now. When you were having the sex, you did not tell us. When you were having the pregnancy, you did not tell us. When you were removing it, you did not tell us. Now that something is trending, years later, you are coming out to tell us for what? Like what do we? What do you want us to do? It's police you are reporting to. It's police. If it gets to their hand, anything you see, you collect it. 
That's to prove to you 100% that most adults in this country and even this continent don't have sense. Forget education. Education is supposed to give people thinking ability. The primary purpose of education is how to think, not what to think. Do you understand? It's religion that gives you what to think and not how to think. But education gives you how. You are going to find out what, depending on the situation. So if you are telling me that you're a graduate and you can't est properly estimate the consequences of actions, that's crazy. Your education failed you. You have to go back to square one. Maybe from primary school, after you've learned English. Because most adults in this country, it's only English that they know. There's a pro big problem in this country. If our youth... Do you know the other day I realized that most youths don't know the name of the vice president of Nigeria and they voted for P2B. They don't even know the running mate of P2B. I'm talking about Ahmed Dati. The other guy was looking at me like, who did you vote for? I said, who did you vote for? I said, P2B. So who is his vice? He doesn't know. <laughs> Full graduate, working class, banker. <laughs> hey, oh my God. Oh my God. That explains how that's why scam is so rampant because people can't think pre critical. This person I'm sending money to, have I seen him? What if he runs away with my money? How do I get my money back? They don't think there is no there's no consequential thinking. Now, if you're watching this and you still have kids growing, I want you to get some books. Number one book is called Quantitative Reasoning. Quantitative Reasoning. Go and look for it at the bookshop for kids. Tell them you need a book on quantitative reasoning. They will give you all the books you can find on that. Usually it's one, but if, yeah, if you can find more, it's a, a it's a set and series of exercises the child would do of how to rearrange shapes, how to rearrange numbers, what is common, what is not common. Let the child finish the book. There's another one called verbal reasoning. Verbal reasoning is the foundation of um, understanding what people are saying and what they imply. That's the basic foundation. Get your child to finish the whole verbal reasoning exercises in the book. Even if they don't go to school again, that forms a foundation of them being able to think. Because people can't think in this country. You will say one thing, even till today, go and check, just because I mentioned trauma, the video, this, go and check the comments. You will see what, how people are saying something I did not even say. <laughs> Crazy people for this country. The amount of mad people that are roaming in the streets are more than the ones in the hospital. The ones in the hospital is just the one that remove clothes. We know that you are now fully mad. You will say something, you go to the comments, you see somebody arguing a different point that is not related to what you... It means that their ability to understand what you said is impaired. Verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning. As you as an adult, you need to read a book called Thinking Fast and Slow. Number one book in critical thinking. Thinking fast and slow. That's number one book. There are other books in critical thinking like Factfulness. How to Lie with Statistics. These books are top-notch. If you read them, the way you see things will change. There's a movie called Sherlock Holmes. The season, the season one, there's the series. The one that's series. Go to, go to Netflix. The one that's series. Try and relax and watch that movie. Very interesting movie. But what will happen is after you watch it, you your brain will improve the way you see things. If you can think critically, you can think of business ideas, you will be more successful in life because you'll be able to uh, pick something mentally, estimate it properly, how it's going to benefit you, and you'll do more calculations. There are games like um, checkers and chess, you know, draft. We'll call it draft in Nigeria. It's called checkers in the US. Checkers, chess. Try and introduce it to your family so your children and family members will start playing it because chess, chess helps you to think up to 14 levels deep in each direction. These are things that improve critical thinking. Otherwise, now Lodo, you born a smart child, but by the time they graduate university, they are stupid. You Lodo, they will go to the internet and confess a crime or even commit a crime for the purpose of confessing it. We now have a generation that is fully raised with social media. All their self-gratification they gain is from social media.